<coughs> okay, here we go. ABGs, pay attention. You probably know how to do ABGs already, but pay attention because you want to put this on a tape and sell it to nursing students. You have my full permission, take it verbatim, all right? It's enough food for everybody in the world. Let me just review the normal parameters just to make sure your values are similar to mine. <laughs> God forbid. Here we go. <laughs> the normal pH. The normal pH is between 7.35 and 7.45. If you wake up one day and have a pH greater than 7.45, you're in a state of alkalosis. Whereas if you wake up one day and have a pH less than 7.35, you're in a state of acidosis. CO2 is an acid, it's controlled by the respiratory system. The normal CO2 are the same numbers that are in the pH, this 35 to 45 business, so it's easy to remember. So the normal CO2 is 35 to 45. If you wake up one day and have a CO2 greater than 45, you're in a respiratory acidosis. Whereas if you're CO2, you blew off your acid and the number is less than 35, you're in a respiratory alkalosis. Bicarb is a base, it's controlled by the metabolic system. The normal bicarb is the ages you wish you were, just in case you're not those ages now. <laughs> 23 to 27. If you wake up one day and have a bicarb greater than 27, you have too much base, therefore you're in a metabolic alkalosis. Whereas if you lose your base and your bicarb is less than 23, you're in a metabolic acidosis. So if I have a CO2 of 64, I'm in a respiratory acidosis. I got a bicarb of nine, I'm in a metabolic acidosis. I got a CO2 of 28. I'm in a respiratory alkalosis. I got a bicarb at 37. I'm in a metabolic alkalosis. All right, good. Here's how you interpret ABGs. You drop dead and you come back to life. And you find yourself living in the land of ABG. As you walk around the land of ABG, everyone's got a first name, a middle name, and a last name. But you don't have a big choice. As it says in your booklet, the only choice you have for first name is uncompensated or compensated. Not such a big choice. Middle name, you don't have a big choice either. Why, the only middle name you can have is uh, respiratory or metabolic. And last name, total horror. Not a big choice whatsoever, only a choice of two, either acidosis or alkalosis. So you see, in the land of ABG, you don't have a big choice for names. So anyway, you drop dead, come back to life, you're living in the land of ABG. Next thing you know, you're pregnant. You're gonna give birth to a little baby ABG. Lo and behold, out comes this kid in swaddling clothes. As you hold a little baby in your arms, you say, what am I going to name my baby? Well, it's real easy in the land of ABG. There's only two steps. Step number one, look at your baby's pH. Because whenever you give birth, the baby comes out with a pH right on its forehead. So step number one, look at the kid's pH. By looking at your baby's pH, you get your baby's first and last name. So let's have a baby. Seven, it should be so easy, right? 7.12, what's my baby's first name? Uncompensated. What's my baby's last name? Acidosis. Let's have another kid. 7.55, what's my baby's first name? Uncompensated. What's my baby's last name? Alkalosis. Let's have another kid. 7.01, what's my baby's first name? Don't say dead. Uncompensated. What's the baby's last name? Acidosis. Let's have another kid. 7.23, what's my baby's first name? Uncompensated. What's the kid's last name? Acidosis. So step number one, you look at your baby's pH. Get the kid's first and last name. Now, you were saying uncompensated because the pH was not normal. But if you have a pH that is between 7.35 and 7.45, then the kid's first name is going to be compensated. Matter of fact, any pH between 7.35 and 7.40 will have the first name of compensated, the last name of acidosis. Any pH between 7.40 and 7.45 will have the first name of compensated, the last name of alkalosis. So step number one, look at your baby's pH and get the baby's first and last name. So let's have another kid. 7.36, what's my baby's first name? Compensated. What's my baby's last name? Acidosis. Let's have another kid. 
7.45, what's my baby's first name? Compensated. What's my baby's last name? Alkalosis. So step number one, look at the kid's pH, get the kid's first and last name. Pay attention, put this on tape. Come on, let's get an entrepreneur out of this course. Can we please? You know, it's interesting. Um, people always call me up with ideas, and this one nurse called me up from California, and she had this idea for a toothbrush, you know? She said, oh, it's a great idea. I really have to fly out and meet with you and everything. You know, you'll talk me through it. I'm like, no, oh, no. I'm like, yeah. I said, you don't have to fly. You don't have to come out here. Just tell me what it is. No, no, I have to. I have to. I'm like, oh, yeah. Right, so she flies out, and then, you know, so she has to stay over my house, so I'll just stay it over a weekend. Anyway, she shows me this invention. She made this little toothbrush without a handle. It's just like a, just like a plastic toothbrush, but without a handle. So it's just a bristle, and it has toothpaste in it. And uh, she said, this is her idea. And you put it in your mouth, and you chew it, and that's how it brushes your teeth. And uh, <laughs> so I'm like, you know, yee. So I try using it. It doesn't work, because I have no teeth. It looks like I have teeth, but I really don't. Like, I don't have any teeth over here. Like, I'm missing large quantities of teeth. So when I put that in my mouth, I got stuck right over here. I'm like, this ain't working. So, you know, you want to be my partner? Please, please. I'm like, ah, I don't think. I'll talk you through it. I had to get FDA approval, but I don't think so. Bad mistake. You know what she made? Not last year, but the year before. You know what she brought in? $34 million. The prison system bought it from her because they don't want prisoners to shop in the points on toothbrushes. And then Lufthansa Airline, British Airways, oh, uh, British Airways, Lufthansa, quite a few, uh, Virgin Airways, they bought it because they, when you go to, you know, on long trips, they give it to people. And so, so that was, so I made a mis business mistake that day. <laughs> Can you imagine 34 million? It's like, oh wow. All right, but anyway, here we go. 7.12, what's my baby's first name? Uncompensated. What's my baby's last name? Acidosis. So here you got a pH, 7.12, 28 and 11. 7.12, my baby's first name is uncompensated. My baby's last name is acidosis. So now if you give birth and your baby's last name is acidosis, you say to the kid, who's your father? Who's your father? Why, who gave my baby the last name of acidosis? Well, in the land of ABG, you got two husbands, right? Oh, see, I'm being very politically correct. I hope you notice. Anyway, so in the land of ABG, you got two husbands. Well, I guess I'm not too politically correct with two husbands. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you got two husbands. You got Mr. Respiratory and Mr. Metabolic. Now, given these two men in your life, right, Mr. Respiratory and Mr. Metabolic, which one of these men is the baby's father? Well, it's a man who has the same last name as your baby. Now, you know that a CO2 of 28 is alkalosis, whereas a bicarb of 11 is acidosis. So now, given these two men in your life, which one of these men is the kid's father? It's the man who has the same last name as your baby, and who may that be? Metabolic. Metabolic. Metabolic got the same last name as my baby. Therefore, he did it. He's the father. <laughs> He's the problem. It's an uncompensated metabolic acidosis. And because I'm in an acidotic state, I'm blowing off my CO2. 7.55, 29, and 20. 7.55, my baby's first name is uncompensated. What's the kid's last name? Alkalosis. And who gave my baby the last name of alkalosis? Now a CO2 of 29 gives me alkalosis. A bicarb of 20 gives me acidosis. Now given these two men in my life, which one of these men is my baby's father? It's a man has the same last name as my baby and who may that be? <coughs> Respiratory. Respiratory got the same last name as my baby. Therefore, he did it. He's the father. It's an uncompensated respiratory alkalosis. And because I'm in an alkalonic state, I'm getting rid of my bicarb. 7.01, 51, and 10. 7.01, my baby's first name is uncompensated. What's the kid's last name? Acidosis. Now, who gave my baby the last name of acidosis? A CO2 of 51 gives me acidosis. A bicarb of 10 gives me Acidosis. Now, given these two men in my life, which one of these men is my baby's father? 
who has the same last name as my baby, they both do. They both did it. It's a mixed disturbance. It's an uncompensated respiratory and metabolic acidosis. Got a patient not breathing and don't have good blood pressure. Usually it goes together. 7.2350 and 29. 7.23, my baby's first name is uncompensated. My baby's last name is acidosis. And who gave my baby the last name of acidosis? A CO2 of 50 gives me acidosis. A bicarb of 29 gives me alkalosis. Given those two men in my life, which one of these men is my baby's father? It's a man has the same last name as my baby. And who may that be? Respiratory, he got the same last name as my baby. Therefore, he did it. It's an uncompensated respiratory acidosis. And because a 